Let's bump some buttercream, set some sugar, and spike with our spatulas right into this volleyball cake. Welcome to Behind the Cream, where I take you behind the scenes of some of my coolest cake creations. Let's get right into this one. Time to serve it up. What makes this cake cool but also super challenging is that it's a perfect sphere. Basically the cake is working against gravity. Gravity is always your worst enemy. Let's look at this clip of me starting to carve the cake that has already been filled and chilled. I may be breaking a lot of hearts right now, but not every part of the cake is always edible. I mean, if the price is right, I can definitely do it. But creating a structurally strong cake is one of the most important things, next to taste. If you can't get your cake from point A to point B, survive a party, maybe some singing, and little Timmy bumping into the table, then you won't have anything to cut into. If you take a look here at the bottom of the cake, it's actually styrofoam. I've painted it brown for no reason at all. It actually comes in white. I've cut part of the bottom off so it can sit nice and flat on the board. To attach it, I use my trusty hot glue gun, one of my favorite things in the entire world, along with Miss Vicky's honey Dijon chips. Finally, to make carving less nerve wracking, I wrapped a piece of cardboard around the base to stabilize it. Otherwise, it would be like a top-heavy bowling ball hot glued onto a board at one single point. Now it's time to shave away. Now I'm buttering this ball up with some fluffy vanilla buttercream. Thin layer of white fondant goes down first. It acts as a canvas so I can glue the color panels down after, once they've been cut to the right size. Getting the size and placement right for these panels is not easy. Imagine you have a puzzle with a piece missing from the center and you have to cut a piece so perfectly that it fits seamlessly in and the surface is round. Might take you a few tries. Good thing fondant stretches, but it isn't always super forgiving. Time to get some sand on it. Well, in this case, cocoa. I love brushing on some of that chocolate dust to help highlight the lines and the texture by creating contrast. For the final touch, we're bringing the beach to the ball with some brown sugar. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and eat cake. I am the Big Boss.